Hi, and welcome to our podcast this week. I'm Lance Swanson, and uh, with me today I have a Dr. Tracy Heilman, and uh, we're talking today about uh, MAP testing. And uh, MAP testing is going to get started here in, uh, in uh, next week. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And we need to make sure that all of our proctors are ready to proctor testing. Yes, and um, there's so much information out there uh, available online on the training and that, and I don't want this to be a training video today as much as just a quick conversation about uh, how to get help and where to get help, and, and maybe um, I think some things have helped to make uh, NWA, which is the overseer of the organization that runs MAP testing, they've really done a lot of things um, in the last couple of years to make it a little more simplified and easier to use. Mm -hmm. Um, can you talk to me a little bit, uh, Tracy, about the, the proctoring and um, some of the things that we need to be aware of or the proctors need to be aware of? Sure. The main thing is that um, folks who are doing proctoring in their classrooms or in a, a lab, wherever the setting may be, they need to be very comfortable with navigating that website and knowing how to set up test sessions, how to pause the sessions, um, how to find the students that they want to test perhaps how to um, create and save a testing session to use later. Um, if a student has a pause test event, how to go back and pick that up again and finish it out, those kinds of things. And it's really very easy, and it's all covered in a couple of quick training videos that are on the MAP website. Excellent. Yeah, I, we really, really want to enforce, even if you've given that before and you did it last year with the online web, you need to take an opportunity to just watch those or review those again. Um, and in, they maybe have made a couple changes and they've got some new updates for fall of 2014 videos posted. And the great news, to make things easier for you, on the school website under staff, the staff link at the top up in the upper left-hand corner, we've put the links in there for... Um, the link to go there to manage, mm -hmm. your, to set up the class um, test sessions, and also to um, get help. So all the help and all that is located right under there, and there will be two separate links for that. And any other links we get, we'll list them there. Right, and the important thing to remember is since we switched over to the web-based map platform, it's a one-stop shop. Everything from getting background information on the test to setting up the testing sessions, to um, looking at reports and getting help. All of it is located right there on that one web page and it's really very easy to navigate. So the main hurdle is logging in and then you look at the links that are there and you find what you need and if there's anything that you don't know and you need help and support with, there are some wonderful um, sources of help right there on that website. Short training videos, the ones we're talking about for proctoring, there are two videos. One is the Proctor Quick Start, which is nine minutes, and it's a quick little video with lots of screenshots that walks you through step by step. You could even keep that open and pause it as you set up your testing session. So if you need to go back and forth, you can do that. There's also a Proctor Tools, which is a slightly more advanced, if you could call it that, um, video. That one's 13 minutes, so a total of 22 minutes will give you a very strong foundation of how to do proctoring on MAP. Then there are some also print materials that are available, and all you do is click on Help and go to the Proctor Help Center. And all of those things are easy to access, and we'll show you those links in what Lance is posting on our district website. Yeah, there's a couple things when proctoring, too, you want to keep in mind that I think, A, you want to, as the teacher, you want to set up the test sessions for your kids. Don't let that be someone else in the building's deal or don't combine classes unless you're truly, you're doing a makeup or you've got a group or you want to put them together mm -hmm. and then you can create a test session for those. Because if we create a test session of a big group and then we start splitting them up and then we need to stop or break that or restart it again. We have to go find the proctor that has it in that room and then restart it and that creates a lot of running around and it's technically not the right way to do that. Um, um, can I add something yeah. to that? The other piece of that too is I think once you set up a, a testing session even once or twice you'll find that it is it's truly very quick and easy. It almost takes just as long for kids to log in as it does for you to create the session. So there's, there's, there's no hurdle there. It's right. very easy to find kids to test and set up that session. So 
it really saves you time in the long run to just set up the sessions for the kids that you need at that time. Right. And if you've got too many, like, let's say, I'm worried a student's going to be gone or they're, it's fine. They, mm -hmm. they can be in that test session and you don't get them tested that day, you can grab them the next time. Mm -hmm. You might have to change a room or stop in the middle, you know, lunch or, I mean, fire alarm went off, whatever. There's all kinds of different things that come up. And then if you do have to move those kids around a little bit, they can go to a different test session and finish that. It'll pick up where they're at. Right. Where they're, but if you leave them in the same one and then they've gone somewhere clear across the building to pick that up and then there's a problem with it, it really creates a problem for the tech people or any support folks to try and track down where that was started. Mm -hmm. And I think that the key advantage to the web-based map is really the flexibility and the control that we have with things like finding students to test. It makes it very easy to do. So just keep that in mind and you'll see all of that information in those two training videos that I mentioned before. If you, it, it's just best if you could set those sessions up a couple of days in advance. That way if there is a student that isn't in your list or whatever, um, you can do a school due to get that soon added. Right. And it, and it reserves the, the, uh, the tech folks to do their job, their true job, which is to provide the technical support that we need. So if we get into a situation where we need to troubleshoot or something, they're available for that versus doing the proctoring. We, we need to make this an all hands on deck kind of an activity. So right. we all help each other. So and sometimes you need to know when to end the, the testing sessions, like if it's going into lunch or something happens and we need to move the students or they need to come back. Um, you can do a suspend if they're going to come back mm -hmm. like after lunch, let's mm -hmm. say, as a group. And mm -hmm. the teacher can run and suspend the whole group mm -hmm. and then bring them in. But then there's some times when maybe you want to move some kids that are just a small group that are going to take it later to pick up later. And then it's easier to maybe uh, take and set those up and whoever's going to proctor that session of it's not makeup, but mm -hmm. the ones that needed extended time or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can do that, but just then put them in that new session. Right. Does that and make sense? Yes, it does. And that's the thing, too. There's a lot of flexibility. You can, the, the tools work very well we, when we understand how to use them. There's a tremendous amount of control that we have over how we set up the testing sessions and manage those. So it's just a matter of knowing how to do it. Get in there, look at those videos practice with it. Every teacher has their current rosters of students. Um, high school teachers have a number of rosters of students because we have them by term and by class period. So get in there and practice with it and know that you're not going to break anything. So if you set something up and then decide it was the wrong thing, we can just delete that. That's not yep. a big deal. Um, the other piece of it though is preparing students. And there's another um, part that I wanted to point out, which is there are student warm-ups for both the primary grades test and the regular map. And um, those do a nice job of explaining how the tests work. There are some new features. Um, for example, students can refresh the question and hear it again and that type of thing. So you'll see some of that information also by just taking a quick peek at some of what's new for map on that website. And all, again, all that information is right there on the one homepage. Right. I think the real key is just get as prepared as we can and we all play our part and is, if, if our proctors are prepared to handle the testing sessions, that's the key thing. Good proctoring is the quickest and easiest way to better test results, so why wouldn't we take advantage of that? So that's the main, main thing I would like folks to focus on right now. Yeah, you, you've got that absolutely right. It's something so easy to fix and it's... Um... It's really our. It's really part of the deal. Is we need to, we need to know we need to have the, the information and data. It's going to be good for all of us. We all are starting to rely more and more on it, and it's just we're all in this together um, to get the students through the the testing sessions. And um, once again, it just will help form that formulate the year and how we're going to handle that. So, all right. If there's not any, you have any more to add, if not, I'm exactly. going to go ahead and wrap that up. And once again, look for the emails and of course the links that will always be on the website under the staff link at the top, up on the left-hand corner. And um, during testing week, we'll, we'll add those to the uh, main site as well. Sounds so, great. All right. Thank you very much. And have a great fall map testing session. Thank you.